helping teachers think about where to start when they want to embed critical thinking is an interesting and tricky question. So they can begin by saying, how do I problematize each lesson in a small way? And I just, and, and I would say, if I found a teacher was a bit nervous about it, I'd say, look, let's just find five ways that I can tweak a lesson that you already teach and just try that out and that will build some confidence. Let me just show you how I might um, invite students to rewrite titles in a textbook that are boring so they become more interesting. Let's uh, take uh, notes and have them reduce them down to the most important points. So for some teachers it's going to be find that place that we can try a small tweak, try it out, see how it goes, see if it increases student learning. Uh, but the, the flip side of that is to say, but if I want more and I want it sustained, how do I weave those together? How do I, how do I launch with an interesting task that we're going to work with over the next few weeks? Now, for some teachers, that's an uncomfortable place because it, it, it requires a lot of scaffolding, a lot of planning. But for some, it's an exciting place to say, how do I put that rich, exciting task as the driver up front? And then engage kids throughout the learning in that. So I would say depending on the teacher, and, and I, I would argue just like we differentiate for, for students, we want to differentiate for teachers. Where are you in this process? I, what would be the most comfortable fit? Would it be a small task? You just try out and see how it goes as you layer in more? Uh, are you willing to jump in with both feet and try something richer? So I think both are, are out there for teachers, and teachers kind of figure out where their comfort level is.